and welcome! Thank you very much for watching. You are about to embark in one of the greatest experiences of what you can do when you arrive here in Tokyo. We've decided to do this experience in the peak of the summer. <laughs> so we're out there walking through Japan and Tokyo right now during August. And you're wanting to find something that's cool to do, literally cool, as in cool, cool, and cool. Um, I suggest that you should look into doing a karate experience here with Yusuke. Um, Yusuke from Karate in Tokyo. Um, the reason why you should probably look into this is because not only you're escaping from the summer heat or the winter cold, nothing more exquisite than doing karate, not only in the land in which it was invented, but. Ba -ba! A temple. Grandfather, right behind us. Ah. You're about to see what this experience is like. Um, and come and follow us. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, so we first bow to the temple. Every every karate lesson starts with a bow and ends with a bow. Right. So please just stand up here in this line. And we're gonna sit in a position called Seiza. We usually see that in martial arts. Right. So from your left knee. Knee down. Knee, knee down. Right knee down. Then set your hands on your thighs. And meditation in Japanese is mokso. Mokso. So when I say mokso, close your eyes and breathe slowly, okay? Okay. Mokso. Yeah. <laughs> like with any exercise regimen. It is important to warm up and stretch the pivotal parts of body that is needed to execute the punches and kicks. During the slight warm up, I accidentally kicked the coin donation box but immediately apologized after. I hope I was forgiven though. Time out and straight. Yeah, don't open your elbow out. Okay. And we're gonna be pulling back, okay? So, itch. The immediate image that Shogo and I had with karate was a classic punch from the hips. There was an interesting point that was made by Yusuke yeah, about the positioning back. of our arms when we do punch. Take a look. Notice how when Yusuke makes contact with Shogo's fist to demonstrate the impact, Shogo's body compensates by moving backwards. Look at this simple fix. The great thing about doing karate is that it isn't that complex. A simple change in the positioning of our hands as Yusuke demonstrated was all that separates a punch that could potentially stop any aggressor. However... Wow, this is a lot difficult then. I anticipate because there's so much technique to think and as you're thinking you're executing it at the same time. So there's, there's a logic behind all the punches, kicks, and blocks. So the example you see here, you're going to connect the movement of your knee, hips, your core, and your shoulder, elbow, your wrist to deliver the power of movement. If any one piece is missing, you can't be delivering the power, like, 100%. But um, when I started doing this, I felt I'm really, like, focusing on what I'm doing. And then once I learned the form, how to punch, I felt, oh, this is what's a beautiful thing about karate. And um, you know, when you see the karate on TV shows, those people actually, when they punch, when they do the form, you can actually hear the sound, which is, that's a beautiful form. And um, when I started doing this, I actually, <laughs> seriously, um, I want to do this again. And once I'm um, back to my hometown, I think I'm gonna try again somewhere. Maybe I'll keep doing it again, again, again. I wanna be like better to do this. All right, so at the end of the class, we usually have everyone write their annual goal on this wooden board and break through it for good luck. It's a road that you have to follow 
as a human being or something. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say in English, but it's like the word I'm always, it's always in my mind since I was like 12 or 11. Three, two. Yay. Ah, left hand. Yeah, so I actually started karate when I was in high school and it wasn't really hard for me because karate is all about the logic behind it. So if you just take step by step practices, then you'll be able to get strong really quickly. Especially in, in the class that I do here, everyone within the two hours, they get strong enough to be able to break a wooden board at the end. And everyone has done it before. So if you're interested in martial arts, and want to learn something new, then please yeah, come join us.